Um, so what we're going to do today is actually two things um, because they're both really super quick. And the first thing I want to show you is how I did this uh, designer label around the spooky in the, um, the big truck going by. Uh, using the candy wrapper die that's in the current holiday mini. Oh my gosh, have you looked at the new holiday mini? If you're in Canada and you want one and don't have one, just email me and I will send one to you. It is, it's unbelievable. Um, so what I did was I used this new designer label punch, extra large punch that's in the holiday mini right now, along with the candy wrapper die that's in the holiday mini, and was able to kind of use it and punch it a couple different ways to be able to kind of make it a little bit smaller, which don't you love when you get a punch to know that you can use it for just the way it was intended to? So I'm going to show you how I did that quickly, and then I'm also, I had several requests um, from people asking me if I would show how this pouch comes together. This is thanks to the adorable and wonderful and amazingly loving uh, Linda who is in has been in several of my clubs and I just love her to death as I love every member of my stamping clubs and uh, so Linda came last week with a gift for everyone and she made um, uh, these pouches and the belly band and then it even comes you know you gotta you gotta fully decor out right you gotta do the cap too so uh, I was able to figure out the dimensions and used our greenhouse galore or greenhouse gala uh, DSP and made this one so I want to share that with you um, because I've had several requests to do that so I'm always happy to do that I know what I was gonna say that I didn't say the last time which is good that I forgot to hit the record button so I could talk about it now Yes. Uh, I've also had several people ask me if I can show how I made the roses on the card cake box that we made for Jess and Scott's wedding. Um, I'm hoping that will be next week's video. In, and um, the reason there's been a delay is, um, I'll explain it later, it's nothing, nothing tragic or serious or anything, but um, I'm hopefully going to do it next week. And so I'll have that share with you next week. So I hope you're having a great week. Um, the kids head back to school on Tuesday. For us, that just means that um, we've already been starting our homeschooling already, so we'll just go ahead and plow through again starting on Tuesday as well. So uh, thanks for coming by and joining me, and stay tuned for the souped-up water bottle and new way to use a designer label punch that is in the Holiday Mini. Thanks for joining me, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and today is all about take two because I got um, like three-quarters of the way through the entire video and made a catastrophic mistake and a taping issue and it went south from there so I'm starting all over once again so what I'm trying to do is do the whole thing start to finish so I'm not stopping and starting so um, what I first wanted to show you was how I made this little smaller decorative label for the this adorable candy wrapper uh, die that we have and um, if you have the big shot you need to get this candy wrapper die that's in the new holiday mini and my next question is if you don't have a Stampin Up big shot why not um, and I, I can't tell you how much I love my big shot so uh, definitely an investment you want to look into and any questions you have about the big shot ask away I just I absolutely love it um, so this is using the new candy wrapper die that's in the new holiday mini and then this extra large uh, decorative label I refer to it as I think I called it a designer label punch but that's another punch this is called our decorative label punch and it's an extra large one and it's so so neat so I'll show you actually um, when you punch it out it's huge and it's so pretty and that's what's under here on the textured Cajun craze there is that's la layered underneath there um, so just love it and so what I'm going to do is show you how I made, using this punch, I made this. I know, it's amazing, you're going to freak out. So um, just another quick thing too, just a little tip for our new um, punches. In a big one like this, you, you can punch it just like this. But some of the other ones that have the smaller pieces, like the cog punch, for example, you're going to want to feed it through and then push it this way. Uh, just because those images are real fine and that just helps to give you extra leverage to punch it out rather than holding it in your hand and punching it, which is a little trickier. 
Okay, yep, that was for free. Um, so I have a little piece of Whisper White, and I've mentioned this before, I'm not real big on Halloween, but I love this um, stamp set, Wicked Cool. It's just so cute. There's some cute wording, and... Um, cute images, so that's just a win-win for Halloween for me. So what you're going to do is line up along the short edge the word spooky, and then just go ahead and punch that out. And you can see I trimmed off the end, but that's, that's not a problem. And then just feed it from the opposite end, because we want to get that decorative labeling edge at the bottom. Just line it up like so, and punch it out, and that's it. <laughs> Cute, eh? Okay, so there is doing it on the short edge. This one, this spooky, I did on the long side. So same word, but threaded through a different way. So you get kind of long and long this way and shorter this way, where this is longer this way and shorter that way. And here's some other ones I did that I wanted to just show you. This is the Tags Till Christmas from the Tags Till Christmas stamp set. Oh my gosh, love it. In the Holiday Mini, and it fits around a whole slew of our punches. you, you got to check it out. It's amazing. And this is a Word For You stamp set, so I use that on the long side. And then um, my memory has failed me, um, the stamp set that this comes from, but there's I've used an image to, to use that decorative label punch. So just a quick and easy way to use that decorative label punch in more than one way. And then, so there's the big Cajun craze um, decorative label underneath, and then I just put a large oval black and then put my antique the edges and put my spooky on top. Cool, eh? Hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, so now, if I've done my planning well, I'm going to move right into the souped-up Wata bottle. Oh, yeah, and there's, um, there's the word happiness, and I believe that stamp set is from uh, Fabulous Words or Fabulous Phrases. Anyway, I love this stamp set. It's one of my favorites. Just a ton of uh, single words that you can group together to make phrases, and I love it. Uh, so here we are, the souped-up Wata bottle, and I'm going to show you... And if I've done my planning well, which goodness knows, it's not my strong hand, uh, we can just roll right into this. Okay, so what I have is, um, I'm using some more paper from the Greenhouse Gala, Gala DSP. Love this paper. It's the same as this as well. Um, so you have a 4 inch by 11 piece. You can also do this um, pouch and belly band even cheaper because it doesn't use a lot of, you'll be able to get three out of every sheet of DSP. But you could do it even cheaper if you used um, cardstock for the base and then just put a little pitted pit, put a little bit of DSP just on the front just to kind of add a little bit of oomph. Uh, but I'm going to use a, a piece of DSP for today. So uh, four inch by 11, and then don't worry, I'll post these dimensions. Score in at half an inch and then add an inch, flip it to do the other side, so once again, half inch, and then one inch, and then at one end, doesn't matter which one, you're going to score in at two and a half inches, and I just want to show you what that score line is. That score line is right here, and that just helps the pouch to fall straight down, which um, I think it just kind of hangs nicer. Um, so that's just what that score line does. And then take it out, go to the opposite end, and score in at four inches and four and a half. Okay, and that's it for your scoring. And then what you have to do is we're going to cut out, and I know it's tough to see, um, but I'm going to post a um, picture of, of what I'm talking about. See how we come in at one inch? So this is half inch and this is inch scored all the way down to that four inch, okay, because we scored at four inch and then four and a half. You're going to come all the way down there and cut out on both sides all of that. So I'm cutting into that inch mark, the very bottom score line there, and then I'm just going to cut it out because it's easier to cut out. So I'm just going to line that up on the one inch again, and then line at the bottom of my blade, pull that piece out, line up on the one inch, 
and then cut up to that other line. And even though there's score lines on here, I would I wouldn't throw that out. I'm sure there's something I can do with that. So now we have um, this is the the base of the pouch. So what you're going to do is just quickly reinforce those score lines. And then so right side up, so whatever you want to be facing out is what you're going to have facing up, okay? And then just run on this last half inch flap and because we're using designer paper, it's not quite as thick as our cardstock, obviously. So you can, I've been making these with, with my snail and not having any problems. If you were going to use cardstock, I would recommend sticky strip because the cardstock's heavier. All we're going to do, okay, so we've put our tape there, is just fold that up and line that up just along that edge. You can see it almost looks like a crayon box. And then just line up the other edge like that okay so there's there's the pouch for for the uh, flavored water okay that's already done and then all we're going to do is to take the inch and a quarter and line it up in there actually I'm going to come in this way and then just to create a little extra decorative piece I'm going to take some pear pizzazz and use the inch and a quarter punch to punch out the center and then go back over with the scallop circle and you can use two-way glue which is probably what I would recommend but since I forgot that I'm just going to use a little bit of snail and then line that right up over there and that's it okay that's the pouch and then I just you know that um, because our cardstock is um, 4 or is 12 by 12 and we had to trim this off at 11 inches that 1 inch piece that I cut off I just used the 1 inch circle punch and that just <laughs> that looks really big oh that's just what I punched out that with <laughs> oh Lordy, help me Okay, I can't find my... Alright, anyway, work with me here. I know you love me enough to see me through this. So, um, you would just punch us out within one inch and then that would just go on top. You know what, I'm putting that one on right now. <laughs> okay, and the little belly band is two inches by nine inches. And I'm just going to take my two pieces, my my positive and my negative for velcro and make sure they're lined up and put it there like that and then I'm just going to slip this off which is kind of hard with that inch and a quarter there and wrap it around my belly band like so make sure it's even and then press it firmly and then just pull that off and then just really reinforce that so that <laughs> oh, I need a snooze that's what I need I need a little snooze okay so then that goes on there like that every video I just surprise myself more and more how foolish I can make myself look okay so there's the belly band there's the pouch that you can put your flavored uh, water in and had this been punched out with a one inch circle as it should have been that would just pop on the top like that and fit better than that does so um, thanks for bearing with me once again for the souped up water bottle and the decorative label way to use it other than the way it was meant to use a punch Thanks, guys, for sticking in with me. Y you do know, I hope you know, how much I love you. You, you. So thanks for sticking with me. Watch for next week's video. It just keeps getting better and better. So have a great week. Thanks. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.